So I'm just going to show you through how this patch works. Um, you can hear that it detects uh, when you play and then it'll freeze it and then it's got a note sequencer so it'll change the pitch that it's frozen at. So you hear that it can detect notes and if we it freezes what we play. So the way that works is that there's the, a onset detector here. So I'm detecting the, that a note has come in and it gives me out a trigger. Uh, you see, I've done something a bit wacky here. I've used interconnect mode, which you can get at through settings. You can turn on interconnect mode here. So I can use, this gives me out of control, but I actually want to delay it a little bit because um, I don't want to freeze exactly right on the start. I want to have a little bit of uh, um, time before I start freezing. So I've delayed that onset uh, by a little bit with a normal delay module, audio delay module. And then I fed that into a toggle. So this is again a control thing to turn on and off. So each time it detects a, a, a note, it'll turn off or turn on, it'll toggle this. And that toggle is going up into here into the freeze on the time stretch. So we've also got a note sequencer that's just chugging along there. And you can hear when we uh, play a note. Yeah, it's going through those notes there. And then it'll stop when we play again. You see there, it grabs that. And... Then we play again, and it stops. So, yeah, that's going through the note sequencer there. Uh, you'll see I've also uh, got the foot switch A assigned to disable and enable the onset detector. So you hear if I play something. I've now disabled the onset detector. So my other line doesn't stop it. So I can play over the top of it. Now if I, I've turned it back on, so if I play, I can stop it. Uh, so yeah, that'll automatically freeze when you when it detects a note. So it'll just grab that first note. So you can change when it grabs just by turning on and off the foot switch here. Um, so what are we using to freeze? We're using the time stretch module. Uh, if you're ever doing pitch shifting or most things, um, many times the time stretch is quite a nice so, um, solution because um, it'll grab stuff. We can also change a lot of parameters like the size of the things it grabs. We're hearing a little bit of a click occasionally when we've got uh, the start of a section, which we're grabbing out a grain. Um, we can add something to smooth that as well, uh, which I can um, drop something in now to smooth that. Um, for instance, uh, we could grab the uh, best LFO, which is of course the looping envelope. The one that's just called LFO is quite, um, basic. So we don't want that one. We'll have the um, one that's down here, the looping envelope. We'll grab that. It's quite complicated, but we'll put it out. It's uh, output one. It's got lots of different outputs. We can route them to different stuff. And we're going to route that. I think maybe position will be fun. Let's try position. So that's where it'll be playing back in the buffer. So let's try seeing, um, we'll just start something playing. There we go. So we've got that frozen, that just a, I froze a C, and it's being pitch shifted around uh, by the, this guy. So now let's make this do some stuff. So output zero at the moment, we'll go in the middle. And we're like, bro, why is nothing happening? Well, that's because we're not looping. So we'll turn on looping. And we'll loop a bit faster. You 
see now we're now, we're now scanning through the pit, so we're getting quite different results. You can do slowly. Ooh. Ooh. Edging towards weird tremolo here, actually. That's yeah, kind of fun. Weird tremolo. Obviously, you can get some different rhythmic stuff for using some of the different patterns. And we can, of course, change some of the shape parameters to make this a little bit more uh, exotic. Cool. It's much more percussive now. If we want to go back to something smoother. So here we've got another variation on the same concept. Um, we've got an on de onset detector, still a note sequencer, and the time stretch, but I've added a few other little things in here. There's now some attack decay envelopes that are triggered by this drum pattern here that's also triggering the macro oscillator. But you can hear it's not running right now because it's also, it's run, it's run here is off, but it's being toggled to on. Uh, via the toggle. So the same time it freezes, the drums and everything start. So that means we get an effect. Don't have that phrase. See, it's being chopped into little pieces by the VCAs a little bit to give it that rhythmic mic feel. It's being controlled by the drum patterns. And we've got a macro oscillator running here. So obviously we can change it. We can obviously tune these as we want. Also being pitched by the same uh, note sequencer. So it's just some of the stuff you can do with freezing and detecting notes.